LeBron James in the corner being guarded by CJ. This is that big body here. Sets the screen. Euro steps. That's an open layup. Nice. LeBron James with the clutch layup. I think I think the AD is going to force him to take a three, to be honest. Oh, no. He's driving in. Pull up. Gets deflected. Call timeout. Six seconds to go. AD with the block. Tied game. 131-131. Keegan Murray has the ball. Pass it to Steph Curry. Steph Curry. Four seconds to go. ISO. Step back. Three. Pump fake. Shoots it. If you're watching this video, that means one of two things either happened. Number one, LeBron James took a pay cut and it worked out. They didn't cite Clay Thompson, but they signed DeMar DeRozan. Or number two... Um, none of this all happened. LeBron James did not take a pay cut, but, uh, you're just curious to see, like me, how the Lakers would do with, uh, DeMar DeRozan. One thing, though, is I don't know how the contracts would work out. I'm assuming LeBron James would do, like, a two plus one player option to be able to get, um, his other son into the league. But, uh, yeah, I don't know what the contracts would look like. I don't know how this would, how they would make it work in one. I'm not a GM. I'm just a simple YouTube rebuilder. But, roster-wise, we have D'Lo, Austin Reeves, DeMar DeRozan, LeBron James, Anthony Davis, and off our bench, Rui Hachimura, Jared Vanderbilt, Christian Wood, uh, Connect Four, which I find to be a really, really cool nickname. He's number 30 here, which I'm going to change myself. Jackson Hayes, and then Max Christie, Cam Reddish, Gabe Vinson, Jalen Hoshifino, and Bronny James. Now, uh, I don't know if LeBron's going to retire this year or next year. This, this video is probably going to be pretty short. It's not going to be as long as we're used to because LeBron James is pretty old and he'll probably end up retiring real soon. Like we have maybe max three years with the Lakers. That's a max and minimum one or two. That's that, that literally that's it. I say minimum one or two because I ended up downloading a uh, a roster. And I'm not sure if he already retired and the person overread it. So this could be very well his last year. We could literally just be doing one year and I wouldn't know. So that being said, because we only have maybe one or two, three years, I think Bronny James does go to the G League here. It's a little unfortunate because I would like to see Bronny James play with uh, LeBron, but we're kind of limited on, on time here. We do not have we cannot afford to let the young players progress you know in real life lebron i'm sure he'll play maybe three four five more seasons so they wouldn't be worried about having Bronny james play minutes you know but right now this is rebuild this is 2k Bronny james is in the g league now do i think DeRozan fits the lakers no do i think DeRozan fits the lakers at the moment i do not think so again who am i to say i'm not a coach i'm not a gm so i can't i can't say much but i do gotta admit i like seeing lebron and anthony davis just being the one two punch and then just having amazing role players like how they did in their championship run, which is that was a perfect team. Obviously, I would have liked the team better if they had Clay Thompson just for the stretching aspect of it. They could stretch the floor beautifully. But after all, it is LeBron James, so they could literally make anything work. So now that I look at the roster, I'm realizing we need we would probably need a backup point guard. We need I don't know if I want to keep Austin Reeves. He is a very good shooter, but I feel like we could package him up with like maybe uh, Gabe Vince's contract. That's about 24 mil that we could try and get for a better shooting guard small forward wise we're good but i wouldn't be opposed to an upgrade and then power forward even jared vanderbilt wouldn't mind a power forward center i like christian wood off our off our bench but if we could get drummond i wouldn't mind having drummond either now i did simulate three days because demar Derozan was still a free agent and i needed a team to sign him to be able to do this because we didn't have the cap to do so but uh i want to get andre drummond here i'm noticing the contracts aren't exactly perfect because drummond's making two mil for the next two years where i'm pretty sure it's um it's 10 mil for the next two years or so five mil a year but it's fine because for the most part the players that are supposed to be on their teams are on their teams which is which is is good on that note jackson hayes andre Drummond, does that work you want jillet hutchifino for adam bona can i just get rid of get away with just doing two second round picks three second round picks four second round picks and five second round picks no i don't want to give up jillet hutchifino because i feel like i get a first round pick for him so instead can i just throw in cam reddish and you guys throw in 40 overall sure like so and you don't want to do the trade okay can we throw in then um i don't want to give up christian wood but i think i'll have to for uh for drummond i'm able to get two first round picks for cam reddish cool i have the exception thank you cleveland for that appreciate it cleveland once again helping out lebron james you love to see it i'm gonna sign moritz wagner thank you thank you just for the simple idea of uh of flipping him too for a first round pick 78 overall from free agency we'll take that memphis grizzly pick Thank you. There we go. So, so far we've gotten three first round picks. I don't know how many we have total. I think about maybe like seven, seven total first round picks. We got another one here from the Bucks. Thank you. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven first round picks. So that's good. And we have Rui Hachimura's contract, Austin Reeves, Gabe Vinson, Jared Vanderbilt's. We have decent contracts to be able to work with to uh, get a fourth star, perhaps a ninth first round pick. Even can we get a 10th? 
throw us into 2029 you want Bronny james not happening sorry we'll just do the original deal thank you so now can i just do can i do just christian wood for drummond straight up like that and one second round pick and two second round picks no i want to assign also um connect four to the g league i feel like that'd be good for us i'm gonna do this right here we're gonna get a backup center and mitchell robinson i think that's a pretty good backup pick to have on the team or even hold on what if i try cooking up like can we put lebron at the point guard lebron on our point guard anthony davis is our power forward and then we could run a lineup like this no a lineup like this here lebron austin reeves derozan anthony davis mr robinson i kind of like that i like this way better than our other starting lineup and then d -Lo off the bench yes yes i like that okay Ooh, we could trade jalen hood shafino in a first round pick to get walker kessler i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do that and uh i think we're good to start simulating now they why why is d -Lo always going to that starting point guard so you know what? i'll make him a shooting guard so like that no one touches lebron's spot it's simply like this. It stays like this. Walker, Kessler, AD, DeRozan, D'Lo, LeBron, off the bench, Robinson, Austin Reeves, Rui, Jared Vanderbilt, and uh, Christian Wood. Okay, we're going to make it a 10-man. We don't need 11 players getting minutes like so. And I think we're good. The team the team's good to uh, to survive at the trade deadline. That's the whole idea that I'm trying to go for right now. The idea is to stay afloat, right? Stay afloat. Make sure we're going to float around 500 so that coming trade deadline, when a team is selling, we could just buy to their star with all the picks and uh and contracts that we have and then from there we'll just soar through the rest of the season trade deadline we're 28 and 22 so we're definitely a lot better than what i was expecting to be we are the fourth seed but not by much because two losses and we're back to the play in so let's take a gather right now who is selling paulo bancaro no don't really need him okay we have the clippers here with Kawhi, brooke lopez brooke lopez i'm actually very 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 interested in he is making 23 mil i just i love his three-point ability and his inside defense i think i'd be a perfect fit next to anthony davis so 23 mil we could throw in gabe vinson we have to make up nine more mil so then we have to throw in jared vanderbilt you guys throw me in westbrook come back to la sure can we just do this westbrook declines his no trade clause no okay i'm sorry with all due respect with all due respect you do not have a trade clause no and real life westbrook wants to leave anyways there's like rumors that he's going to uh to denver so who cares gabe vinson jared vanderbilt like so do we have a deal you want a first round pick give us jordan miller sure all right at the exception boom so now we kind of have a lot of big men off our bench which leads me to believe we could trade we could get a very good six man here actually with walker kessler's uh value we get a very good six man walker kessler has three and a half star value mitchell robinson three and a half star value austin reeves three stars connect four has two and a half stars okay yeah we could definitely work with something here which is good before i make another trade i want to see what is the issue is that our offense or defense our offense is number seven so it's probably our defense that isn't the greatest our defense yeah it's uh bottom 10 practically okay so looking at our roster i would like to have Dilo off our bench and have like a nice 3 and d guard like a Derek white a Derek white or even drew holiday would be good or or even we can go talk to the pelicans with herb jones and trey murphy herb jones 13 mil trey murphy 5 mil so we have to match up about 17 we could throw in d like this perfectly and then we could throw in uh christian wood do we have a deal? No. I'll throw in one first round pick. No deal. I'll throw in another first round pick. You want Bronny James for Jordan Hawkins? No. But that tells me we're getting close. If you guys are throwing counter offers, we'll throw in one more first round pick. DeMar DeRozan for CJ? No. It's going to be a lot of an overpay here, but we'll throw in one more first round pick. And now you don't want to do the deal. Okay. What about OG Ananobi? OG's making damn 33 mil. I'll throw in Rui Hachimura. We have to make up 15 more mil. So we could throw in Mitchell Robinson you guys throw in jericho sims like so you want one first round pick basically okay cool we'll take that in an instant so now we can make og to a shooting guard it goes to down to an 83 overall but we still have delo starting so can we make delo back to a point guard does he take lebron's spot no he doesn't okay good but now we have austin reeve starting over uh over og which i don't like and i would rather have brooke lopez start just because he fits better with the starting lineup and i feel like walker kessler fits better with the bench i don't necessarily want to keep westbrook on the team so westbrook and christian wood could get moved for or just one better ninth man we can make westbrook into a small forward goes up to an 82 overall and christian wood no nothing changes if i make him a power forward so we could do westbrook christian wood and uh this wolves pick over here 
Okay, this was a little unexpected. Rob Dillingham, damn near four star uh, value. Sure, I'm just going to use him and flip him. So we could do Rob now. We could do uh jordan miller and another first round pick i'm gonna do this right here keegan murray we needed a backup power forward anyways and now the stretching even got better so off the bench keegan murray delo og uh our defense no they still want brooke lopez off the bench so now walker kessler with this is good we'll make it into a nine man but now okay the problem is now we don't it doesn't seem like we have enough minutes to go at for everybody okay so i feel like this is our final rotation lebron james 34 minutes og 32 derozan 27 yeah that's good anthony davis 35 brooke lopez 29 and then off our bench keegan murray 22 delo 21 walker kessler 21 and austin reeves 19 and we have Bronny james and connect four in the g league i think this team is real good basically everyone's 82 plus our defense got better with anthony davis brooke lopez and og starting lineup and then off the bench we have walker kessler to basically just hold it out and keegan murray he has pretty good uh, perimeter defense actually even though he has zero defensive badges his perimeter defense is at a minus and the average is b minus yeah perimeter defense is an 80 for a 6 8 power forward we'll take those all right so i think we're good now to continue simulating championship aspirations yes do i think we could go ahead and win the championship as long as luca and shay are in the playoffs i don't i don't think so honestly at the end of the season we finished 47 and 35 luca mvp rook of the year alex Sar, highland six man Miyama DPOY, MIP Highland, and Jason Kidd, 62 and 20 coach of the year. Only be first, Luka, LeBron, Giannis, Tatum, Jokic. Only be second, Wemby, Mattis, Buzelas, Alex R, Shea, Tyrese. Only be third, Trey Young, Devin Booker, Zachary Rusasher, PG, and Demonte Sabonis. All defensive first, OG, Mikhail Bridges, Giannis, Kawhi, Wemby. All defensive second, Bam, AD, SR, Thompson, Shea, and Alex Caruso. All rookie first, Alex R, Mattis, Buzelas, Zachary Rusasher, Tajani, Salone, Ron Holland. All rookie second, Donovan Klingon, Rob Dillingham, Eves, Missy, Stephon Castle, and Reed Shepard. We finished as the fourth seed versus the warriors okay all right team stats offensively we jumped up to number three and defensively we we're like we were ninth right and we climbed up three spots so our defense is still is still not the greatest the golden state warriors on their team currently have stephen curry draymond kaminga this team is kind of i don't want to say it but yeah it's, it's not good i don't think their team is that good at all okay let me actually make coach game plans because i haven't done that in a while and uh oh no why is austin reef starting they changed up my whole rotation they changed up the whole rotation maybe that's why we weren't that good defensively i need austin reeves starting over og uh i don't know why og's cold well he's just not shooting it good he's playing fine he's playing fine i don't care about that they want lebron off the bench no what are they what are they doing can i know what they're doing lebron said i would like to re-sign with the team in the off season so the that means we're gonna have a lot more years of them that's good really really good this team is straight up selling though i don't know why they're doing this yeah delo austin reef starting over lebron you got it. you got it all messed up right now come on man okay rotation better and fixed i don't want anthony davis to get that many minutes because he's gonna get burned out so golden state um OG, you're going to guard Stephen Curry, and that's all we really need to do. He's literally the only person that could score. I don't know how this team is that good, to be honest. We'll simcast it game by game because they still do have Stephen Curry, and you can never be too sure. But game one, and LA looks like we're going to secure it. Can we take a 2 0 lead in LA and potentially steal one or two in Golden State? We do. We take a 2 0 lead, a pretty close game. Anthony Davis, DeMar, D'Lo, good. Good on you guys for playing good. This game looks like Golden State is going to take. Okay, it's a 2 1 series. We're looking, obviously, to take a 3-1 lead going back home, but it doesn't seem to be the case. We kind of got blown out here. Yeah, it's just Stephen Curry, right? Oh, my God. Actually, the whole team, the, their whole team just popped the hell off. Game 5, very important here. Whoever wins this game, chances are they're going to win the series, and it looks like it's going to us. Yes, we do. The Rosen's having a very good series, 29 points. He's averaging 20 points and four assists shooting 55 percent from the three-point line this series game six in golden state can we end the series here in advance in the second round to i think we're facing luca very close game eight point game two minutes to go we're going to a game seven classic game seven with lebron and stephen curry here but we're home and oh my god golden state has been leading they scored 40 points in the second quarter it looks like we're going to be upset in the first round i would say this is an upset we lost in the first round by 22 points. This wasn't even a Steph Curry game. Jesus, okay. We have a Luka and Cade Cunningham finals. And Cade Jalen Duren wins finals MVP. All right, congratulations, Detroit. Player retirements, nobody. Great, so we have three more years with LeBron, which is pretty good. We'll go straight to rookie signing to see if we draft anybody. I don't think I have first round picks. We can never be too sure. Yeah, we don't. Team player options. Keegan Murray, Walker Kessler, yes. I'm pretty sure here we're going to lose D'Lo. We're pretty much going to lose D'Angelo Russell. I don't think he wants to re-sign with us. And Brooke Lopez. Okay, so we're losing two players. If uh, I don't think D'Lo is going to want to re-sign with us. We'll give you 100 mil. I'll do a flat deal. We'll do like 95 mil. 
I think that's fair. We'll do something like this. We'll give you a player option too. Honestly, I don't think uh, we're going to make it that far for that player option to kick in. So we'll do that. Brook Lopez, you actually don't want that much. I'll give you a five-year deal. We'll do a flat 12 Miller like that. Again, with a player option, because I don't think we're going to go that far. And uh, hopefully we can sign both of them. We signed D'Lo, we signed Brook Lopez. Great. That's amazing. Jericho Sims, honestly, I'll throw you the deal, but I don't... I don't think I'm going to use it. We'll throw you a one-year deal or two-year deal like that. And he signs with us. Great. Okay. Player progression. I'm excited to see this because the, the entire team's pushing 50. Yeah. Uh. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. At least, at least Connect 4 and Ronnie James are progressing pretty nicely, but oh my God. Anthony Davis goes down to 92. LeBron James, 89. OG goes down one spot too. And then DeRozan is just a damn near 80 overall god damn okay so we, we literally have to win this year there's no doubt about it we do training camps untapped potential for connect four and brawny james and for the last one i'm not actually sure what i want to do with it i mean seeing that we still have lebron for at least two three more years i guess we'll throw him to conditioning make sure he's still uh yeah okay make sure he's still out there to be able to, to run back and forth without breaking a hip so touch up on some positions we'll make lebron to a small forward back to his original position so now delo og lebron anthony davis walker kessler off our bench keegan murray austin reeves demar Derozan, Bronny james okay uh we have connect for not getting any minutes brooke lopez so i'm gonna change it to a 10 man but we'll still have one person not getting any minutes so something's telling me here i gotta upgrade i don't know do i upgrade point guard i think i think i try going for a defensive point guard that could help uh, facilitate and also defend at the same time i want to see what is connects for value three stars dilo is three and a half stars and we have four first round picks so we could we could make something work here at the trade deadline for sure but honestly for now i'm happy rolling with what we have right here and we'll kind of just we'll, we'll make our moves coming the trade deadline because it's so much easier to trade for players when uh, when you know a team is selling all right 27 24 we are seven seed, so we're pushing play in basically i would assume it's our defense that's not the greatest right our offense probably is decent or no it's our offense that's not good we're bottom bottom six offensively and our defense is our defense is actually actually better than our, our offense right now which is surprising me i would assume it would be the exact opposite Bronny james how are you playing in your first year honestly pretty good he's playing pretty good demar Derozan rosen isn't playing that good but i don't want to trade him because again defeats the whole premise of the video this is a lebron and lakers and demar de rosen rebuild keegan murray i do have to pay you next year i'm not opposed to doing so because you are a very good player and you kind of fit the team and you're playing good austin reeves how many more years do you have your contract you have one in the player option so austin reeves is getting shipped and uh Dilo is on fire. Is he playing good though? 16.6. You know, he's playing pretty good actually. So we'll just take a look at selling teams and then maybe get an idea from there on who I could potentially use on the team to better our uh, our offense. We have Stephen Curry. Stephen Curry. I wouldn't mind Stephen Curry on the team at all. Would he team up with LeBron? I don't know. But to be honest, I don't care. I'm just I'm just getting the player. Lamelo Ball. I don't think that helps our offense all that much. I think Steph Curry is the, is the player we have to target here. All right, to Golden State. You did beat us in the first round, but I don't care. We have to match up 59 mil. Oh God, okay. Okay, so I can throw in D'Lo. We have to make up 35 more. Oof, we could throw in Austin Reeves. We have to make up 21 more mil. You guys throw in Wenyan Gabriel, and we could throw in, yeah, I can't really do much here. I mean, I could do OG instead of what, D'Lo? Like this, that works. What about a deal just like that? No, I'll throw in one first round pick. Okay, that was for Stephen Curry. That was pretty easy. Okay, so now I don't like the defense at all starting for us here. So do I just have Bronny James as our shooting guard? What's his defense looking like? Premier defense A. Okay, Premier defense is an A. So I could have I could have him be a shooting guard. He goes down a little bit, but that's fine. So now he will take that position. Steph Curry starts at the one, and then off our bench, Keegan Murray, D'Lo, DeRozan, Brook Lopez, and connect four. Hmm. Okay. Um. Do I trade D'Lo here to try and get a better a better shooting guard that could defend? I'll try, I'll try. He goes up to almost an 86 at small forward. So we could do D'Lo, connect four, and a Cavs pick 2029. Wow, we get Tyrese Maxey. Um, I'm not opposed to getting Tyrese Maxey just because I feel like the return we could get for him would be would be actually insane. So, you know, we're giving three rotational players though. Can I, can I keep connect four then? Can we do something like that? You want Bronny James for not the XM? No. Can I throw in just a first round pick? Two first round picks. You want a third and you're giving me Darius Saric? Okay, cool. So now I do need a first round pick. Darius Saric, can you get me that? There we go. Okay, cool. First round pick at the exception. 
So now we can do Tyrese Maxey. We can do Connect 4 and that first round pick from the Heat. Ooh, Evan Mobley. Evan Mobley does help our defense there. Yeah, you know, can I, can I just do this here? No. Okay, you know what? I want to save Connect 4 for another trade. So I'm going to see if I could just get first round picks and just throw a bunch of first round picks to be able to get them. That's one first round pick. We have two. I'm going to see if we can get like four first round picks. If we get first, four first round picks, then we're, we're pretty much chilling. Okay, there we go. So now I'll show you the trades I did. I didn't show them on camera, but these are all the moves I did. I basically signed a bunch of players, flipped them for first round picks, climbed up with player overall wise. And then, uh, yeah, these are all the trades I did here. So now time to see Evan Mobley. Evan Mobley, we can do Tyrese Maxey, and I have this Pacers pick here that's pretty good. So just that, okay. I guess all I needed was just that one first round pick that was pretty good. So we'll make Anthony Davis back to a center like that. Ooh, that's a very good team. Bronny James, I like you, but I kind of want you off our bench. But the thing is, I don't know who I could trade. Like I have Connect Four and then just a godly amount of first round picks. So I could just do two for round, first round picks and uh and and connect four we get reed shepherd sure welcome to the team reed shepherd thank you for that now make him into a small forward 83 overall he has an a minus perimeter defense hold on a minute hold on a minute can we just use him as our shooting guard then buy defensive badges what the heck a minus perimeter defense it is a a 76 wait what that doesn't make any sense you know what we could do him and we can do terrence davis with a first round pick pistons so there's a few good offers we get shade and sharp Sharp, which helps at scoring which seemed to be the issue but we have Stephen Curry now so I don't think that's gonna be much of an issue but if we get Dyson Daniels he always makes all defensive teams but looking at stats like 1.8 steals 1.5 steals shoots the ball better than Dyson Daniels what is his perimeter defense actually let's check his badges and perimeter defense and I'll see from there if it's worth it yeah his yeah his, his, his badges his badges are kind of lacking and his perimeter defense is at 91 so you know what yeah that 91 really sold it for me now we can make brawny james back to a point guard and now we have stephen curry dyson downs lebron evan mobley ad and off our bench keegan murray walker kessler derose and brawny james and uh kobe buffkin who i can make into a shooting guard or flip him for a true shooting guard so you know what that's exactly what i'm gonna do seeing how i have some picks left we could do ham. We could do uh, Bernard and our last 2030 first round pick. Never mind. We're going to keep him. We're really just going to keep him. We're fine. We're fine without a, a true shooting guard. We'll just make him to a shooting guard. Okay. So we look quickly at what our offense was at. Offense was 24th. Okay. And our defense was 7th. 7th. Okay. So 24th and 7th. Similarly through the rest of the the season and hopefully those two climb up honestly hopefully it does we had a ridiculous second half 51 and 31 luca mvp cooper flag rookie of the year anthony simon six man with benyam dpoy rob dillingham mip and jb bickerstaff 58 and 24 coach of the year only be first hold on whoa pascal siakam only be first damn that, that was not a name i was expecting but we have luca jaw Giannis, pascal Jokic. all nba second we have wemby scotty barnes tatum anthony Edwards, shea all nba third kate cunningham trey young evan mobley zachary satcher and Devonta sabonis all nba first we have mikhail bridges og Giannis, evan Mobley, Wemby, all uh, defensive second, Claxton, Kawhi, Asar Thompson, Caruso, and Shea. We are the fifth seed versus the Pelicans. All right. All right. They have Zion, DeJounte, Murray, Herb Jones, Jalen Johnson, CJ. Their team is really good. They have Westbrook too. Who's, you know, he's playing pretty good. Their team, their team's pretty stacked. They're very deep, but they lack size. Now I'm looking at it. Their only center is Kyle Filipowski. Their only big man is Kyle Filipowski. Okay. Where do we finish offensively and defensively now? Offensively, we were 24th. We went to 17. So that's good. And defensively, we climbed to the second best defense. So our team, our team definitely got better by a lot. I think this should be a pretty good matchup. We should have size. We have a lot of good defense. This should be, this should be pretty good. Game one in New Orleans. Honestly, if we swept them, I wouldn't be surprised. Game one is going to be a solidified dub here. Game two, can we take, can we go home with a 2-0 lead? It's a very close game here. We're, all, we're down six, eight minutes to go. It looks like they're going to pull through. Oh, we're only down four. Hold on a minute. It's a one point game, 54 seconds in. So I'm going to jump in here. I want to see this. Ooh, LeBron is at the line. I don't know how many free throws he's shooting. He'd be shooting one, two, or three. But this is the tide right here. And he ties it. 129, 129. Pelicans have the ball. They're going to pass a design with 53 seconds to go on the shot clock. The Pelicans could do a two for one here, but I don't know if that's good for them. They're driving in on Anthony Davis. Misses, gets his own rebound, put back, and makes it too. Steph Curry. Oh my God, I forget how stacked this team is. But we have Steph and Curry. We're only down two points. The pick and roll with 80. Steph Curry must go crazy. Oh, he's getting clamped right now. Pass it out, Steph Curry, please. LeBron James in the corner being guarded by CJ. This is a big body here. Sets the screen. 
Euro stats. That's open layup. Nice. LeBron James with the clutch layup. LeBron James player of the game. 39 points? Oh my god. Yeah, that's definitely insane. There's about a three, three and a half second different shot clock and game clock. Zion has the ball. I think they're going to hold it for the very last second. Yeah, that seems to be the case. They're going to hold it for the last second. He's making his move now. I think, I think the AD is going to force him to take a three, to be honest. Oh no, he's driving in. Pull up, gets deflected, call timeout, six seconds to go, AD with the block. Tied game, 131-131, Keegan Murray has the ball, pass it to Steph Curry, Steph Curry, four seconds to go, ISO, step back, three, pump fake, shoots it. Oh, he missed, no, no, we're going to OT. I'm going to simcast the rest of it, and if it's still a close game, we're going to jump back in. One point game, a minute, 20 to go, three point game. Oh no, yeah, the Pelicans won this one, all right. That's okay, that was only game two. We still won in New Orleans, which is good. We're heading back home, tying up the series. Hopefully, we could win these two games and end it in uh, New Orleans. We take a 2-1 lead, good. Game four, can we take a 3-1 lead going back to New Orleans? Looks like we're gonna do exactly that. All right, cool, 15 point game. Game five in New Orleans, it's a pretty close game, but it looks like we're pulling through here. No, it's a no, they came back in the fourth quarter and they win by two points. Who, did someone win in them game? LeBron James made a jump shot, but uh, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't good enough. All right. Game six in Los Angeles. Do not let them force a game seven, please, LeBron. End it here. We need the rest. Yes, we advance, we advance versus the Denver Nuggets, who I assume just have their main, f oh, James Harden. Honestly, their defense kind of sucks. They don't have, um, Aaron Gordon. They just have Jokic, Jamal Murray, James Harden. Mitchell Robinson too. Okay, never mind. This this team is pretty stacked actually, but I think we're better. I don't know if it's biasy, but I think I think we are better. Game one in Denver. Does the altitude still affect LeBron and Anthony Davis? It seems to be the case. Yeah, okay. Game two. Can we steal one? Can we steal one? Can we tie it up 1-1 going back home? Close game, six points. Four point game. Four point game still. One point game, three minutes to go. We take the lead. It's a three point game with a minute to go. Two point game, 40 seconds. We're jumping in, guys. We're jumping in. Nuggets have possession of the ball. It looks like they're going to pass it to Jamal Murray in the corner. Jamal Murray open. Pump fakes. Being guarded by Stephen Curry. Drives in on Stephen Curry and makes scoop the layup. Jamal Murray just stays cooking the Lakers, I swear. We're only down four, though. So we could. This is still comebackable. Stephen Curry has the ball. We need a quick little three here. Quick three. A stop. Oh. Pull up three, Stephen Curry misses. Yeah, the game's over. Game is over. I'm just going to simcast the rest of it. Yep. We lost by uh, four points. All right. Down 2-0 going home. This is still a series though. We can win these two games at home. But if we go down 3-0, it's done. All right, we're down 3-0. So this is as realistic as it could be. Because in real life, the Lakers were down 3-0. And then they proceeded to win game four. No, we were just getting swept. We got swept. No biggie. It's a 1 7 matchup Nuggets and uh, and uh, Dallas. Some late the round. And we have the Nuggets in the finals versus the Knicks and the Knicks sweep. Congratulations, New York. Player retirements. LeBron decides to retire. And DeMar DeRozan. So we have to overdrive this. This is our. Uh... And Stephen Curry. All right. So this is our last year, guys. This is our last year. Oh, oh my God. LeBron declines his player option. <sighs> Ooh, do not leave us, LeBron. LeBron, do not leave us, please. Free agents. We have a bunch of RFAs, correct. And we have LeBron James, who wants a lot of money. I'll sign you on a one... We'll give you a two-year no-trade clause. Player option. Just sign with us, please. And then these three players... I don't know if I'm going to be able to afford all of them, but we'll throw them all a contract, but yeah we won't be able to afford all of them lebron signs with us walker kessler and keegan murray sign with us and then we have dyson daniels to throw a contract to yeah we can't sign lebron so wait the team decided to sign all three players besides lebron why why did i not get to decide that he signs with the wizards great okay so you know what i'm gonna trade uh dyson daniels for lebron but yeah that's this i'm sorry player progression this is gonna be pretty ugly very very ugly yep Stephen Curry goes down to 90. Anthony Davis goes down to 90. DeMar DeRozan, 78. Oof. Bronny James goes up to an 82, and uh, that's about it. Ah, so actually the one-year glitch happened. So you know what? Because 2K did a glitch on me, technically we're able to afford LeBron, and technically he would have signed back with us. LeBron James, you're, you're coming back to LA. You're only an 88 overall. We'll just, we'll trade you for Philip Petruzev. Yes. All right. Oh, wow. Would you look at that? We have LeBron James still. We have Steph Curry, Dyson Daniels, LeBron, Evan Mobley, AD, off the bench, Keegan Murray, Walker, Kessler, Bronny James, Kobe Bufkin, and DeRozan. I think the team's still good with the run it back, literally as is. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. We're going to run it back, go straight to the trade deadline, and then just see if the team's good or bad from there. Okay, we're 32 and 19, third seed. We're one game away, basically, from just being the one seed, so that's pretty good. Team stats, offensively, number 11, and defensively, number one. Really? Our defense is just cooking up right now, or what? Well, yeah when you have evan mobley dyson daniels and ad that makes a lot of sense Bronny james how are you playing playing really good kobe buffkins playing decent demar Derozan. we just need you we need you for the video basically that's why you're still on the team getting minutes steph curry you're a little tired you know what you could rest a bit before the playoffs 
we'll give the minutes to uh, Bronny James, sure. Yeah, so you know what? We don't need to make any moves. We'll go straight to the end season, because why not? We're pretty good. This is essentially the last dance. We have three players retiring this year. We have LeBron, DeMar DeRozan, and Steph Curry all retiring. We finished with the, I think the exact same record, 51-31, Jokic, MVP, Rookie of the Year, Cooper Flag, Davis Garland, six man, Asar Thompson, DPOI, Omaha Bilio, MIP, and Lloyd Pierce, Coach of the Year, 15 and 24. All NBA first, Luka, John Moran, Giannis, Pascal Siakam, again, Jokic, All NBA second, Wemby, Chet, Cooper Flag, Darren Fox, Shea, All NBA third, Anthony Edwards, Lamelo Ball, Madison Buzel, Justin Tatum, Alpern Sangoon. All defensive first, OG, Mikhail Bridges, Asar Thompson, Giannis, Wemby, All defensive second, Claxton, Chad, Ryan Dunn, Shea, and Bronny James makes it. Interesting. So we are the third seed now versus the Mavericks. I feel like we're always getting the hardest first round matchups. I don't know if it's just me though, but Luca Kyrie, Austin Reeves, Clay Thompson still. This is this is a pretty stacked team, too. So you know what? Simulate the round. We came back 3-1. Came back for sure. I was getting ready to do the intro. I was getting ready to do the intro right there and there versus the Rockets now. 96 overall, Alperin Sangoon, Jalen Green, Amin Thompson, Jabari Smith. This team also very good. We have they have Connect 4, who did not play good, or he's just not getting in the minutes. No, he's just not playing good. Similarly, this round too, we advance to the Western Conference Finals in 5 versus the OKC Thunder. This is probably where our run ends, because Shea, Shea and, and my rebuilded teams do not get along whatsoever, but maybe this changes right now. Maybe it changes, because we're in the finals versus Cade Cunningham. And Detroit, they have Kate Cunningham, Ron Holland, Amin Thompson, KD. Okay, so KD and LeBron managed to uh, spark up the rivalry in their last year. Some beat the round, and we lose in five. Kate Cunningham, congratulations. Detroit, congratulations. LeBron, Damar, Stephen Curry, I'm sorry. I couldn't get you guys your uh, your first and your fifth championship. Anyways, this was me rebuilding the Lakers again. I don't know if uh, Demar DeRozan's going to join the Lakers. I don't know, I don't know if LeBron's going to take a pay cut. It's just, uh, if you do this, see this video, it's because it happened or I just uploaded it because it didn't happen. It would just be interesting to see anyways. If you did enjoy, leave a like, comment, subscribe, share to your great, 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 great grandmothers, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces, malooses.